hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel it is your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess excuse me thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is your daily love reading for my singles y'all ready today is i'm sorry excuse me i ate though i had two apples so i didn't eat eat but i ate that's my breakfast though apples and oranges um yeah, I know. Yesterday I ate an apple while I was doing this. And today I'm going to eat an orange because I'm trying to promote healthy eating. Um, it's being really important. It's really important. Especially like, I don't know if people will tell you this, but you know that phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, that actually comes from... Um, apples are like the best form of natural body detox with fruit. Um, on a daily basis, eating apples for breakfast from like 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., and, a, so, and water or tea, you know, not with like sugar and stuff in it. Like um, try to stay away from the sweeteners. I know that's hard because we've been so trained to add sugar and stuff to our teas. But when you drink tea, technically you shouldn't be adding anything to it other than the herbs because then you're really missing the whole full benefit of it. But regardless, um, a natural way to detox your body on a daily basis is with fruit. Um, of course, organic fruit is best. But um, if you can get organic fruit, I wouldn't sweat it too much. Um... Because, you know, you have to go with what you have resources to. Sometimes it's not affordable. Organic is more expensive. You know, you can grow it yourself. But this is why I want to move to Florida so I can, or to like warm weather so I can grow mangoes and oranges and stuff. Like mango is my favorite fruit. Um, mango and coconut. I ain't gonna lie. I love coconut. But I prefer to like eat coconut, um, drink coconut water. Like that's really my thing. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm trying to promote healthy eating habits because um, it's important as uh, in order for us to change the world we have to first change ourselves right so um i'm just saying all of that to let you guys know that um a natural way to detox your body is to eat fruit in the morning between 7 and 11 a.m and drink your water try to break your fast from the night before with healthy things like fruit and water try not to eat the eggs the bacon the grits um you know things like that um because it really will set an energy for you for the entire day like i can't even stress that hold on let me throw this in the trash throw this in the trash it will really set the tempo of your energy for the day and it'll you know make you feel sluggish and lazy and you ever got the itis after you ate breakfast like early in the day you got the itis well Something that helps replenish your energy is fruit. And that's where the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, comes from. Um, it helps naturally detox your body from all of the stuff that you ate the day before. So that's why I'm just telling you guys this. Um, it's important. Mm. I'm pushing you your vitamin C from the oranges. But apples, I love apples. And I don't like the big Washington apples. I like the gala apples. Those are my favorite. I don't like green apples. I like the gala apples. Anyway, this is your daily loves love reading for my singles for Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. It is, in fact, the last day of November. And we are heading into December, which is the last month of 2021. So a lot of people are looking to get readings for the year ahead. I'm going to be doing a special because I don't do them all the time i'll be adding it to my website okay i'm gonna do a year ahead reading for people who are looking for answers on love health wealth career family um it's going to be a general reading like that and i will be offering it on my website for purchase um however those will come the first week of january all of those readings will be delivered the first week of january okay just so you know well, not the first week, but the month of January, should I say. Because I have to I have to complete a lot of orders. I'm very backed up on orders right now. So please, again, bear with me. I'm moving as fast as I can. My energy has not been good. And I don't like to do readings when I'm in bad energy because then I'm just giving you my bad energy in your reading and not really able to give you a good reading. So let's see what's going on with my singles. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have today for the collective who are single, looking for guidance on maybe getting out of a situation as karmic, or maybe just looking for love, or maybe trying to understand the purpose of a twin flame connection and how it affects them and their growth, okay? So let's see, Spirit, please provide precise and clear messages. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune. So some things are changing for the better. I like that energy to start with, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a sign that there is some change, okay? It's a sign that someone feels lucky. They feel like luck is on their side, right? In reverse, in reverse, it can mean you don't feel lucky, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. That things may be changing for the worse. So let's see. So what messages do you have? But it's an upright, so that's a good energy. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. Okay. The Emperor. Mm. Death card. Okay, Scorpio energy. Heavy, heavy. And the World card in reverse. Bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have Queen of Cups, King of Cups, both in reverse. The Emperor, the Death card, and the World card reverse, okay? Definitely some endings coming. Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aries. Something is, something needs to be completed. Something needs to come to a completion. Something is, st something is being held back from being completed, though. And I feel like it's some change that's about to take place. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Reverse, King of Pentacles. Wow. The Temperance, Sag Energy, Virgo Cap Taurus, King of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands, Reverse, Leo Sag Aries, and then we have the Magician Aries Energy. We have Aries Energy twice with the Emperor and the Magician, and then we have the Knight of Wands. King and Queen of Pentacles, what you don't see coming, baby. Listen. Ooh. Some of you have met your divine partner like no some of you have met your divine partner some of you have met your match like no bullshit you have met your fucking match someone is going to offer you stability serious stability here with the king and queen of pentacles Someone is manifesting a life with you. They ain't acted on it yet. I'm just, just clarify that. Knight of Wands is reversed. They have not taken any action towards it yet. But I feel like there's some healing taking place with the Temperance card within themselves right now. But this person wants stability. Virgo Cap Taurus energy, right? It's like stable. They want to be a father figure in your life, a husband maybe, a wife. You have the Queen of Pentacles, security, feeling safe. This person wants to make you feel safe. They want to protect you. They want to protect their investment. You're their investment. They want to invest in you and then protect you. See, but the Eight of Wands reverse is like, it's not happening right now. They want to come in, but it's not right now. Not right now. Not taking them actions right now. I don't know why, but they're not. They're just manifesting. Like, they're literally just praying for it. Just praying for it right now. I feel like they're starting to see things from a different perspective with you, though. Like, they do have feelings. Look at that. Page of Cups. But there's something to have to leave behind. Two of Wands. Wow. Devil card. Wow. Something toxic they got to leave behind to come towards you. And it could be bad habits. It could be bad habits with them. So it doesn't have to be another connection, right? It doesn't have to be a toxic karmic situation. It could be bad habits, like cleaning up, you know, their old habits. Because the king and the queen of cups is in reverse over here. So I don't know, y'all. We're going to see what this is about. But it makes me feel like with the king and the queen of cups, like you and this person are divine partners, your partners. You got the king and the queen of cups in reverse and the king and the queen of pentacles in the upright position at the bottom of the deck. So right now... You know, I feel like there's like not really, they're not really focused on you um, emotionally. I feel like, you know, you may not be emotionally investing in this person right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I feel. But there's a lot of change. Look at that death card. This person, like this emperor energy, this is a father figure. This is somebody who could be the father of your children. Somebody who could, you know, be wanting to be a father to your children. Or somebody who could just want a serious, stable commitment with you. Like, 
it ain't all about feelings like it ain't all about being all in love like this person sees a stable environment with you but there's this this cycle that has to come to an end first before they can do that so let's see what this is about y'all i don't know this might be juicier than the tea today it might be juicier than the tea today let's get one more shuffle one more good shuffle that was a good one all right Fair, please clarify these energies. Provide precise and clear messages for the collective singles. The page of pentacles reverse. See, that's an energy of information coming in that you might not want to hear. It's delayed information, sharing something with you, a young Virgo Cap Taurus energy. Maybe there was no stability. They couldn't offer this to you, you know? Let's see, Spirit, clarify this Queen of Cups energy. Draw, Spirit always draws me to do things different, well, sometimes. So when I get that urge, excuse me, I listen. High Priestess Reverse. Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. King of Swords Reverse and the Four of Cups Reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. You need to trust your intuition right now because you're not. This person feels like they need your support because there's a loss that's about to happen. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone can't even think straight. They're not going to be able to think right. It's a major heartbreak. And I feel like someone needs your support. And they need you to really start to like trust your intuition because you're not. You're not seeing this. They want you to trust them. Four of Cups reverse. Like, you don't trust them. They want you to trust them. They're going, somebody's going through a huge loss and they're not really focused. They're not thinking straight. Something about not wanting to make bad decisions because they don't want to regret. Like, I feel like there's this, like, depression. Like, somebody's in depressive, like, in depress. Somebody's in a depressive state going through a major loss here. They could be losing their job, a loved one. Maybe their heart just got broken. But I'm telling you, with the Six of Wands, they need some support. They're looking for support from you. And they want you to trust them. But again, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Depression. Somebody's in a depressive state. Feeling very regretful, fearful, very afraid of what's going to happen. Maybe it's that Three of Swords. Maybe it's that Three of Swords. And it's not reverse. So this heartbreak is coming. Someone knows they're about to lose something. Three parties. I keep threes. Spirit, please clarify this King of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. I told you I keep seeing three. Three, 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 three. Five of Swords. Empress. Nine of Cups reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, Judgment card. Someone is having a wake-up call. Someone is getting a wake-up call. They want to work with you. They don't care what it takes. They don't care what it takes. They want to work with you. You're their empress. You are. And I feel like, you know, they haven't been very fulfilled with this queen of, queen of pentacles energy. Like not being, like not providing security. It, it's, they haven't provided security and they're getting a wake up call to do that. To make you feel more stable and secure or to make like this person's being drawn to you to bring stability towards you. Like they know that you're not happy. Some of you could be dealing with this person. This may not be a new person coming. I don't see any cups like ace of cups. I mean, like no aces really. I'm saying this could already be somebody you've been dealing with, with the three of pentacles. Someone you were already working with, building with. Like they don't care. Like. I feel like they don't like they'll they'll fight to win this. They are not like very in control of their emotions right now. 
But just know that whatever's going on, the instability, the lack of security, the lack of feeling like you can actually build something with this person. I feel like with the Nine of Cups, it's an energy of wish fulfillment, but it's in reverse. It's also making me feel like somebody is feeling like they're not getting what they deserve. You don't get, you're not getting what you, oh. They see you as an empress. They want to build something with you. They don't, they don't, and they know that they haven't been giving you what you deserve. Wow. They're getting a wake up call. Somebody's getting a wake up call. Spirit, please clarify this emperor energy. What is this emperor energy? Goes at three of cups, two of swords, indecisive, the moon card, hidden feelings, illusions, three of cups, page of cups reverse, and the fool reverse. Bottom of the deck is the devil reverse. Yeah. This person is detaching from something unhealthy. So that they can provide stability in your direction. This is something they've been very indecisive about. It was a hard decision. I feel like there's a lot of feelings involved. A lot of illusions involved. Pisces energy. Um, and this person wants to reunite with you. They want to come together. I feel like you will come together. Maybe there's some kind of group meeting or a group activity. See, with the Page of Cups reverse, This person doesn't know how to tell you or... To share with you that their feelings about something about their feelings changing but they're afraid to move forward and take a leap of faith but they know that they need to they know they need to but they're afraid to it's like they're slowly detaching from some bad habits some old habits wanting to come towards you but there's a still there's a lot you don't know about them there's a lot of things they haven't told you and they're really like trying to like figure out how to tell you how to really share their feelings with you. I feel like at the same time, they're worried that you don't feel the same way about them anymore. I heard that. Because maybe they've taken too long to, to move forward. You know? Like, because the fool is in reverse. So the fool is telling me that this person knows they need to take a leap of faith, but they're scared. They're scared. Spirit, please clarify this death card. What is this death card energy? What is coming to an end? Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. I'll be damned. Bottom of the deck, Death card reverse. They were holding on to something, something they were very defensive about as well. They were holding on to something very tightly. I feel like there was a competition, arguments, um, just in this whole feeling of like fighting, like they were fighting something, like they were fighting this for so long, very conflicted about what to do very defensive and now with the eight of wands this person's ready to come towards you and communicate with you to make some serious change because this ain't working for them five of pentacles it ain't working they want a new beginning ace of pentacles they want to build and establish i'm telling you this person has been in their feelings about you right they don't want to be in their feelings. They want to be in a stable fucking environment. Like they want to be in, in they want to build something with you. A strong, solid foundation. Spirit, please clarify this world card reverse. And they, they've been fighting this. You know, they don't want to lose you. I'm just going to say that. They don't want to lose you. Oh, wow. Okay. There goes that death card reversed again. Spirit, clarify the world card reverse. This person does not want to fucking lose you. Six of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, they don't want to lose you. There's a lot of feelings here. A lot. The Nine of Wands reverse and the Hermit card. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. What the fuck? This person... What? Okay. So, there's a cycle coming to an end for you two. All right? The cycle has to do with them not putting in any effort. Them no longer investing... Or them not investing in you. Because they don't want to lose you. So, they know what they have to do. Damn, this goes hand-in-hand hand with yesterday's message. Like, somebody really doesn't want to lose someone. Like, they don't want to let go of you. They don't. They don't. I feel like they're tired of fighting, though. They're tired of fighting this. They're tired of going through the, 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 the rigmarole. Virgo energy with the Hermit card. A lot of internal energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. I mean, come on. Virgo energy strong. Virgo could be somewhere in the mix of this. I don't know. I'm just saying it's here. 
The hermit card is here. Like someone's been doing a lot of soul searching. A lot. And they don't want to fight about this anymore. They don't want to fight for this anymore. They're like, I'm done. Like, I want to put the effort in. Like, that cycle's ending. The cycle of no effort. Okay? The cycle of fighting. Going through it over and over again. It's ending. Like, this person does not want to lose you. Ten of Cups, I'm telling you. You're their happy, ev happily ever after. And they're about to take some action. Knight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. You And see, here's the thing. You're single. And beautiful. And abundant. And prosperous. And they're worried they're going to lose you. They are worried they're going to freaking lose you. And see, here's the thing. Look at that. You're the empress and they're the emperor, but they're in reverse. They're in reverse. Ain't that some shit? They need some healing. And they haven't done it yet. So I feel like that's what the, that's what the devil card is. They're detaching from something unhealthy. Because they want to be that emperor for you. And they haven't been. They have to heal first. Some serious healing. Like the star card reversed. The forest wars reversed. Like this person needs some healing. And I don't know if they've recognized it or if they're recognizing it now. But in order for them to come towards you, they know that. They can't come towards you the way that they've been. They can't do that. The way that they came to you in the past. Oh. I can't. Mm. Yeah. It was destined to happen, y'all. Let's see, Spirit, what is destined to happen? No, oh, cards are all mixed up. It's okay. I don't read the reversals anyway with these. It really doesn't matter how they fall. spirit what is destined to happen for my singles the bottom of the deck energy is sacred connection boom boom this is a sacred connection and they do not want to lose you like no spirit what is destined to happen with this queen of cups reverse ego phoenix rising Ooh. clarity Cautious. I heard proceed with caution, uncertainty, resilience. So someone has been very resilient in this connection, pushing through no matter what. I feel as though with the eagle card here, someone is making it about them. Whatever this loss is, they're making it about them. Blaming themselves. I feel that heavily, heavily. And they're changing. They're changing. Phoenix rising. This person is literally being destroyed. Their life is being destroyed. That's that three of swords. This is destructive energy. It's a loss. They're going to rise from those ashes. It's like a death. It's like one, but it's not the death card. It's like one. They're going to rise from those ashes and they have clarity because they've been so uncertain. They were so uncertain. They're finally getting clarity, but caution. Be very cautious here because this is a very touchy subject, a very sensitive subject. Be careful with that situation with this person, okay? This is definitely a situation where they did not want to give up on you or they didn't want to give up on whatever this is that they're losing, and they have to. So I feel like they're, they feel like a very uncertain about the situation, about themselves, but they're going to grow from this. So what's destined to happen with the King of Cups reverse energy? What's destined to happen? Burdens. Keeping tabs. This person has definitely been keeping tabs on you. Mental block, trying to block you out of their mental. Sacrifices. They sacrifice this connection. Iced out, left you cold. Pretend it, pretend. This person definitely has carried this burden with them for a while. They've been watching you, keeping tabs on you, trying to block this shit out of their head. Sacrificing, you know, how they truly felt and being very cold towards you. Pretending to be happy when they're not. When they see you as their empress, they see you as their divine counterpart. Yeah, this person will stop at nothing to have you in their life. They don't care what they have to sacrifice. I feel like they sacrificed this connection already. They're not going to do it again. 
Spirit, what's destined to happen with the Emperor energy? New chapter, told you. Guard it. I told you, this person's very guarded. They're going to be very guarded. Fragile. Mm, going through something. I'm telling you, their heart. Fragile, suffering in silence, and they have not been telling you. This person really wants to come towards you. Lost. They feel lost without you. Imprisonment. Mentally stuck in their head. Driving themselves fucking crazy. There is definitely a new chapter that's going to come from this, though. They will be a little guarded and fragile at first, but like I said, they've been suffering in silence. Pretending to be happy and feeling very lost. Spirit, what is destined to happen with the death card? What's destined to happen? Thank you. Fixation. This person is very drawn and fixated on you. They're focused on you heavily. Ego death. Look at that. Ego, ego death. I told you. They're killing the ego. They're done. They're done trying to control. They're trying to make it about them. Despair, losing, because they were losing. Inner, inner voice. They're now listening to that inner voice. I told you that. Wake up call. Spell work. Ooh. Bottom of the deck. Pretend. Someone must have been doing some spell work on your person. And they were listening to that voice inside of them. It could have been a Scorpio. Because the death card is here. And they want a new beginning with you. They don't like this. They don't like this shit at all. They don't like how this played out. Nope. It ain't working away. Like, they got something to tell you. They've been keeping something from you. But it's not like a big secret. It's like, you know, the way that they feel, the way that they think, their mindset. That's what they've been keeping from you. They want a new beginning now, I'll tell you that. Listen to that inner voice. Somebody doing some spell work, though. Spirit, what is destined to happen with the world card reverse? What's destined to happen? Inner growth. They've grown. I told you that soul searching, that, that hermit energy, greed. They wanted more than they could handle. Unhinged. It, something drove them fucking crazy. Attachments dead end. Look at that. Bottom of the deck. Omen. Ooh. This is your person. Whoever this is coming in, I feel like they've been something happened in a major way in their life. Like they had to, they had to grow inner, inner growth because they were greedy. They were greedy and unhinged. They had a lot of attachments. Whatever this attachments were, there's it's a dead end. Like they realized that this connection was not going anywhere. It was a dead end because they needed to make some changes. They needed to invest more. They need to put more effort in. Two. They were investing in the wrong places with the wrong people. Wow. Let's get some chakra messages. These chakra messages has help, have helped me. I'm not going to lie to you. Last night before I went to sleep, I pulled some chakra cards to see what, you know, what chakras I needed to work on. Meditation, poses with yoga. I did that. I think it's helpful. It's very helpful. So if I tell you a chakra card you might need to work on, Google poses, yoga poses for that chakra. You don't got to do a whole yoga workout. You could just hold the pose and do it every day for like five minutes. I know some of y'all like, I don't want to work out to yoga, girl. Me either. I like different. Yoga's cool, but I like different. But I do like yoga poses because we practice those in ballet. Bottom of the deck is trickery. Heart chakra. Mmm. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. <laughs> mm. Abundance. That's the solar plexus. That's your life force energy. Chase your purpose, not your bag. That's what that card always makes you feel like. Quest. That's your throat chakra. It's time to start a new journey. Take a new, take a new path. And try something different. Then we have release. That's your um your crown chakra energy. Releasing and letting go of things from your past, dead things. Guilt. That's your sacral energy. And then we have another one, destiny. That's your crown and prayer. So it seems to me that the sacral, I'm sorry, the solar and the crown are very important for somebody today, okay? You need to start a new quest. Accept your destiny. To find your destiny, connect with spirit. That's what I'm hearing. But in order to do so, you need to release some things from your past. Let's see what energies we have for you guys. Bottom of the deck is attachment. Mm. Don't gain unhealthy attachments to people, places, or things. 
What other energies do we have, Spirit, for my singles? What energy should they be focused on? Adjacent possibilities. It's funny, I got that card last night when I was pulling for myself. Don't limit yourself, okay? Don't limit your possibilities. Like I said, stop chasing the bag and chase your purpose. Don't limit your possibilities. Appreciation, right? Because in order for you to receive more, you have to appreciate what you have. Appreciate the things in your life now, you know? Start to show gratitude. Maybe even a mantra. The garden, the garden and the gate. It's in reverse. See, I feel like it'll be beneficial to you if you allowed yourself to grow beyond, right? Like you can't really grow if you're holding on to things from your past. Like it's something that you need to release so you can grow. There goes that root chakra. Archangel Raphael, I'm sorry, Archangel Michael. It may be time to get grounded. Maybe you're off ground. Maybe you're not connecting, you know, to spirit. And then the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Then I say Raphael, now Raphael came the fuck out. Ain't that some shit? I believe he's your heart, though. So we have root, sacrio, root, sacrio, solar, and heart. Yep, your heart chakra. It's in reverse. So definitely focus on the heart chakra. Door to value in reverse. And know what you're worth. Know what you are worth, baby. Know what you are worth. I know this is kind of like scattered, but it. I hope it makes sense to you because it definitely makes sense to me. Uh, with Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, this is your heart and your root chakra. And they seem to be in reverse. Just yoga poses, meditation for those chakras is helpful. Um, and something I started doing last night is breath work. Breath work to keep diving into my shadow self um, and living out my childhood um, energies, like doing things I wanted to do when I was a child, but I didn't do. So that's something that, you know, um, I'm just going to share with you guys. But nonetheless, hope you enjoyed today's reading. If it has resonated with you, thumbs up. If it has not, thumbs down. Um, either way, comment. Let me know how you feel. It's all love. Don't forget, if you would like to donate to open, the cash up information is down below. You can also donate through my website, www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S-I-L-O-V-E. -S -S and if you'd like to purchase a reading, you can do so there as well. I am backed up on my orders at this moment. Please allow more time. I am getting to them as fast as I can. I'll be processing some read. I'll be processing some orders after I'm done with my work for today. All right, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Don't forget, it is the day of Mars. Action, passion, and getting shit done. All right, y'all. I ain't got number love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>